Hey there, deluxe fans. Hope you're feeling exceptionally magical today. At this point, most people have seen the movie Encanto. And as we all know, at the end of the movie, Isabella ends up breaking free from her chains of being perfect and not marrying Mariano, the hunk of a man that Abuela was trying to set her up with. Instead, we see Mariano and Dolores appear to start something by the end of the film, heartwarming and sweet. In a way, everyone wins, unless there's a catch. Turns out there's a theory floating around that is centered around Dolores and her struggle for love. And unfortunately for her, Dolores' struggle is only just beginning. Before we begin, let's take a minute to make sure that we understand the entire relationship mess that the Majigal family found itself in. For some reason, I've seen people claim that it was a love triangle, and I cannot stress enough how that wasn't the case. For it to be a triangle, that means that one person loves another person who loves a third person, but the third person doesn't love them back, and instead loves the first person. It's not a difficult concept at all, and one that I can 100% assure you is not happening in Disney's Encanto. Okay, so with that out of the way, it's clear to see that Mariano likes Isabella, or at least he thinks he does. With how quick Quickly he switched up from Isabella to Dolores, and how much Dolores claims he wants to find love, I think he might just be one of those people that's in love with the idea of love. But that's a discussion for a different day. Mariano initially had feelings for Isabella, who did not feel the same way. That didn't matter though, as Abuela Alma was really pressuring her to get engaged to Mariano, even though the thought clearly made her uncomfortable. Thankfully, by the end of the movie, Mirabel helps Isabella become her own person and be true to who she actually is. This meant that Isabella shut down Mariano's proposal, which broke his giant heart. But you know how they say that time heals all wounds? Turns out the dude didn't even need time. He just needed Isabella's cousin Dolores. And even though he moved on quite quickly, it's still nice that Dolores found the love that she was looking for with the person that she was hoping for. She made it clear to the audience from the beginning of Encanto that she had feelings for Mariano, but sadly he was already betrothed to another, which actually wasn't the case. And don't worry, we'll go over that in just a minute. Before that though, we need to discuss a fan theory that sees Dolores as a bit more of a sneaky snake in the grass than we all thought she was. We know that Dolores and Mariano end up at least starting a relationship with one another by the time the end of Encanto comes around. And I for one couldn't have been happier to see the two finally together. Because this not only meant that Dolores was going to find happiness, but also that Isabella was free from the pressure of having to marry someone that she didn't have feelings for. However, fans are beginning to speculate that she didn't come across her love in an entirely honest manner. And instead she withheld and even lied about specific information that she was supposed to be relaying to Abuela that at least helped her attain Mariano in the end. And if I'm being 100% honest with with you, I would believe that for sure. We already know that Dolores enjoys keeping information to herself because she claims to have known about Bruno living within the walls of Casita the entire time that he was there. She said that she could hear him. And if that were the case, don't you think that it's something that she would share with her family? Or at least share it with Abuela Alma, the matriarch who has the ultimate say in anything that goes on in the Madrigal family? But she clearly didn't, since Alma thoroughly believed that Bruno had left and abandoned the family. And considering the fact that Dolores is quite the gossip, it's clear that she specifically withheld the information about Bruno on purpose. I won't pretend to know why, but you can't really argue that she didn't. With that being said, what else might she have withheld from her family? Maybe something that would have made Isabella actually feel some affection toward Mariano? Or at least be less afraid of getting to know him? I mean, she knew how great of a guy Mariano supposedly was by eavesdropping on him while he was in the privacy of his own home, which is creepy in its own way. But that's not why we are here. We are here because Dolores didn't even try to help Mariano find happiness with Isabella. And that's fair. I get that. What I don't get is the fact that there is a good chance that Dolores lied to Isabella specifically to make her more fearful of her intended engagement. A fan of the film made a post on Reddit that brought this concept to our attention. The fan wrote, Sometimes I wonder if Dolores lied about Mariano wanting to have five babies so that Isabella would say something about not wanting to marry him. And after giving it a bit of thought, I wouldn't put it past her. I'm not trying to paint Dolores as evil or anything. She's far from that. I'm just saying that she might be a bit more cunning than we originally thought. Dolores would potentially have a lot to benefit from making Isabella even more fearful of marrying Mariano, the man that she loves. First off, if Isabella did get concerned and voiced her issues with being forced to marry someone that she isn't into like that, then Mariano would potentially be available for her. Secondly, if Dolores did in fact lie about Mariano wanting to have five children, and for some reason Isabella was all for it, perhaps Mariano would get cold feet at the sound of Isabella being ready to have an entire litter of children. And while that scenario is far less likely since, as we know, Isabella does not want to end up with Mariano, let alone have five children with him, Dolores lying about it potentially sets Isabella and Mariano's relationship to fail from the beginning. Whether or not you believe Dolores could be this deceitful, it's clear that she would have the upper hand with her being the family messenger essentially forever listening to the town and relaying that information to Abuela. Either way, I feel like the real question is, how long will Dolores and Mariano remain a couple? Now, if you watched Encanto, and let's be honest, who hasn't at this point, you will know that in the end, Dolores ended up getting her man, and Isabella no longer felt forced to marry Mariano. But what if we told you that the future doesn't hold all rainbows and sunshine for the new happy couple? Because, according to Bruno's prophecy, Dolores still has a bit of heartbreak to go through. A fan of Encanto on Reddit brought up the fact that her relationship with Mariano 
is likely one that is doomed to either fall apart and crumble, or she's going to be trapped in an unhappy relationship. The Reddit user brings up some fair points in this theory as well. First off, think about Bruno and the accuracy of his fortune telling. I mean, as far as we know, all of the visions or prophecies that he has seen have come true, at least to some extent. He told one villager that her fish would die and the next day, dead. One man went on to grow a gut, just like he said. And another was told that all of his hair would disappear and, well, now look at his head. And even though Bruno didn't cause any of these things to happen directly, he still predicted them and his prophecies were spot on. The same can be said for any of the visions that he had about his family. As far as his niece Isabella was concerned, he told her that the life of her dreams would be promised and someday be hers. And he told her that her power would grow like grapes that thrive on a vine. This was obviously Bruno envisioning how powerful and in control of her powers Isabella would eventually become. And as far as her having the life of her dreams, that's still up in the air and something that is entirely possible. Especially since by the end of the film, she was no longer pressured into a relationship that she wasn't interested in. The vision that Bruno had of Mirabel was one that came true in more ways than one when you think about it. While Bruno and Abuela Alma both interpreted the vision as being one of Mirabel destroying the magic, or at least the casita crumbling down around her, Mirabel saw it as the opposite. She saw the vision as if it were her saving the miracle. And in reality, both of those scenarios came true. Her argument with Abuela and the rifts that were forming in the family was what caused the Madrigals to begin losing their gifts in the first place, and what was causing the casita to crumble. But then on the other hand, it was Mirabel who showed the family that they were all just as special without their gifts, and that it wasn't their gifts that defined them, which ultimately ended up saving the magic and the miracle that blessed their family. All of this evidence shows us that no matter what, Bruno's visions are going to come true. It doesn't matter how they are interpreted, if he sees it, it will happen. And that can mean a lot of things. But one thing that it means for Dolores is that she isn't going to have her happily ever after. Think about the prophecy that Dolores said Bruno gave her. Dolores' exact words are, he told me that the man of my dreams would be just out of reach, betrothed to another. The movie appeared to be heavily hinting at the idea that Dolores was in love with Mariano, who was already set to marry Isabella. And while on the surface this appears to be Bruno's prophecy coming true, it's actually pretty far off. As we pointed out with Bruno's other visions, no matter what happens, they come true. This means that at the end of the day, if Dolores was in love with Mariano, she would not have been allowed to be with him in the end. And I know it looks like it would be easy to dispute this by saying that Bruno only saw so far into the future, and he only knew what would happen up to a certain point in time. Well, I'll give you that, but here is the real kicker, and the strongest piece of evidence that supports the theory. According to Dolores, the love of her life was supposed to be betrothed to someone else. In case you don't know what betrothed means, it's defined as the person to whom one is engaged. Well, Mariano never got engaged. If you remember, his proposal got interpreted as soon as Bruno's vision was revealed to everyone. In other words, Isabella never said yes to the proposal, so Mariano was never really betrothed to another. This means that Bruno's prophecy hasn't come to fruition yet, and we all know that it has to at some point. And according to the theory, which I support entirely, this can only mean one of two things for Dolores. One, she either doesn't truly love Mariano, or at least not as much as she thinks she does, and instead will meet the true love of her life, who she will then have to watch get engaged and married to another woman. That, or for some reason, Mariano and Dolores might end up breaking up during a rocky point into their relationship, and he might move on with someone new. That would also bring Bruno's prophecy into the light, as she would then have to watch Mariano fall in love with a new woman and start his life without her. No matter which way you spell it though, Bruno's prophecy is going to have to come true at some point, as it clearly hasn't already. And that means Dolores is going to surely get a less than happy ending to her story. Whether or not Dolores is a liar, it's still hard to think that she's going to end up in such a rough spot at some point in her future. But sadly, it looks like there's no stopping it. But what do you think about these theories? Do you think Dolores is as cunning as some fans believe? And do you think she's doomed to end up spending her life unhappy? Be sure to let us know in the comments below. We would love to hear from you. As for now, that's all Disney fans. Let us know what video you'd like to see next in the comments, and like and subscribe for more magically packed videos.